Yo, what's good, Tristans? And Tristan! Today, we're gonna be reacting to Dua Lipa. I think that's how you say her name, right? Dua Lipa Tiny Desk. Look, I know that I am out of the loop on this, okay? I know she just won a Grammy or something like that. She performed at the Grammys, something like that. I know I've heard some of her songs here and there on the radio, but I've never actually sat down and listened to her singing anything live, right? So I'm super excited to jump into this and see, is she good? I don't know. But before we get started, be sure to check me out to Instagram and TikTok. And also, there's a really cool singing and karaoke Discord that I um, am on sometimes. If you want to check it out, there's going to be a link here. Check it out. It's really fun. You can go over there. You can sing and stuff. Read the rules and shit. Don't be fucking weird. I know it's a lot to ask. But anyway, let's jump into this video, shall we? Do a leap. Okay. Oh wait. Okay, it's it's a, it's two times speed. I was like, damn, she's really pumping it. Okay. If you wanna run away with me, I know a galaxy and I can take you for a ride. Okay. I had a premonition that we fell into a rhythm where the music don't stop for life. Okay. Glitter in the sky, glitter in my eyes, shining just the way. If you're feeling like you need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. You want me, I want you, baby. Okay. My sugar this sounds really familiar. I'm levitating the Milky Way. We're renegading, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, moonlight. Yeah. yeah like starlight, I need you all night. Come on, dance with me. Woo. I'm levitating you, moonlight. You're my starlight, I need you. Okay. I'm feeling this so far. Thank you for a ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. My love is like a rocket watch it blast off. And I'm feeling so electric on my ass off. And even if I wanted to, I can't stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. She my British? love is like a rocket watch it blast off. And I'm feeling so electric on my ass off. off. And even if I wanted to, I can't stop. There's a few characteristic things to her voice that I never picked up on listening to just the studio version. There's a few things that she does that are very, well, they're pretty, they're fairly unique to her. I hear her darkening her vowels a lot. I hear her modifying her vowels towards diphthongs a lot. You, right? Sort of like, eh, hey, doing that a lot. And I also hear this like, uh, almost like Christina Aguilera soft palette lift going on at the same time a lot of times. Those are the things I think are so far very characteristically Dua Lipa. I'd be real curious to hear her sing something higher though. Her accent almost as thick as Adele's. Started just before lockdown started really. There's nothing wrong with that. I just know, so I don't expect it. When someone is singing with a pretty good American accent and then they start talking in or their British accent, it's just a little bit jarring sometimes. I knew she was British though, because how she's pronouncing the uh, that like rappy section. Is he playing a, is that a cassette player? Why? I never thought that I would find a way out. Ooh. I never thought I'd hear my heart beat so loud. I can't believe there's something left in my chest anymore. But God damn, you got me in love again. Ooh. I used to think that I was made out of stone. She's got a really nice tone. I used to spend so many nights on my own. I never knew I had it in me to dance anymore. But goddamn, you got me in love again. Show me the heavens right here, baby. Ooh, dude. You got me in love again. You got me in love again. Her voice is so full, actually. So many nights, my tears fell harder than rain. Scared I would take my broken heart to the grave. I'd rather die than have to live in a storm like before. So she's doing a lot of really cool things that I think are important to talk about because when someone is singing with the amount of fullness that she brings to the table, there's a, a lot of tricks that you do in order to... to tame the beast so to speak because you don't want to sing with a really full loud in your face sound all the time right especially in your lower range i mean that's a problem that, that people who have this kind of a voice 
tend to have. In their lower range, they get way too loud. And in their middle range, by the time they get to the middle range, they're blaring loud. So what are some of the tricks that she does? So many nights, my sister. So many nights, right? She is there with her voice, right? So she starts here, so. But by the time she gets to the top, she doesn't do this. So many nights, or whatever, however she sings it. She's not just blaring the whole way through. It's almost like she's keeping the volume even all the way up. So many nights, da da do do. And at the top, it sounds like she's kind of yelling, right? Nights, right? She kind of has that amount of energy. Nights, da da do, or whatever, right? But she's not. The way that I imagine this, right? She's telling her friend about a night that she had, but she's shouting the word night. So I was walking down the boulevard and I shouted across the street, nights, right? <laughs> That's where she is with her voice. And she does this all the way through, and that's to tame that part of her range so she doesn't get too shouty and too loud there too early, because that's a big problem that people with big voices have, is they like to get loud. Right there, too. And to get some of those low notes, notice how on it's, her voice goes lower and lower. It gets a little bit darker, right? And that's because as you go down in pitch, your voice has to almost get darker because that's just the way your voice works. Ha, 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 right? There's a difference there in the tone. And that's because this thing right here, your little larynx, your little doodle right here, needs to drop down a little bit as you go down in pitch. So <laughs> she does that. As she goes down you can almost even imagine it as as she goes down in pitch she uses more of a british accent because british accent tends to be a little bit darker right storm like before right for storm for god damn you got me in love again show me the heavens Hold on, am i being offensive right here, baby touch me so i Ooh, dude, she navigates that part of her voice so well. It's insane. Show me the heavens right here, baby. No, like notice what I said earlier. Like she's not going, she's not getting louder as she goes up. Show, show me the heavens right here, baby. And she's using that trick that I was bringing up before where she's like imitating the sound of a shout. But here, actually, she adds a little bit of brightness to it to sort of carry it and to make it not sound as shouty, to make it sound a little bit more eh, 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 almost like a creaky door. You'll hear what I'm talking about. Listen, listen, listen. Show me the heavens right here, baby. Touch me so I know I'm not. So I know I'm. That's actually singing. It's hard to it's hard to come up with a trick for that one. She's kind of adding this little bit of a smile. She's making it a little bit twangier. Anyway, she navigates this very well. I want to hear some high notes, but I know she's gonna kill them. Used to be afraid of love and what it might do. But goddamn, you've got me in love again. You've got me in love again. She's real good. Again. I can't believe, I can't believe I finally found someone. I'll sink my teeth in disbelief, cause you're the one that I want. I can't believe, I can't believe I'm not afraid anymore. But God damn, you've got me in love again. Did you hear how bright sounding those high notes were compared to how dark her low notes are? Here's something that people mistake when they hear like a dark voice, right? They assume, oh, I have to sing dark. Uh, and it just stays there the whole way through and it never gets lighter, right? It brightens up as you go up in pitch all the time. It gives you the illusion that she has a really dark voice, but pay attention to how actually bright and light those upper notes are. They're not dark at all, right? Believe I can't believe I'm not afraid anymore. But God damn, you've got me in love again. And that's because as you go up in pitch, there's a bunch of reasons why this has to happen. But it is a rule across the board, no matter who you listen to. 
as someone goes up in pitch, it needs to get brighter. The, the tone needs to get lighter. It needs to get twangier. It is a rule of singing that has to happen every single time. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems as you go up in pitch. Likewise, as you go down in pitch, it needs to get a little bit darker, right? Ah. As I said before, high notes are brighter, low notes are darker. You can bend and twist these rules a little bit once you get once you know when someone's really really good at singing right but this is a really good solid rule of thumb that applies to 99.9% .9 percent of singers The other thing that she does in the in this part of her voice as well, she really is holding back a lot of her voice. So she again, she doesn't, it's not too much, it's not too big, not too in your face, because this is a pop song. There's something left in my chest. There's something left in my chest. If you want to practice to get that sound, it'd be a really good thing to practice on an ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, because ooh is a dark vowel, right? Ooh. It's dark, and it ooh also has that like ooh that held quality to it, or that crying quality to it. But she's holding that a lot of times the whole way through here. You got me in love again. Right? She's not going. You got me in love again. She's not all out. You got me in love again. It's almost like being held in her mouth. And you can do that on ooh. I'm still kind of mad because I want to hear her sing some high notes, but she's killing this. But God damn, oh. you got me in love again. You got me in love again. You got me in love again. She is killing it. Did she always used to be this good? So right there is a really good example of, remember what I said before, most of the time you're bringing up a brighter sound as you go up in pitch. There, for a split second, she chose to bring up a darker sound, but you can hear that it has like a little bit more of a pulled quality to it, right? It's a little bit of a shoutier quality than w what her singing was before. She's doing that intentionally though, by the way, but you don't usually want to do that. Right? This is so good. There's so many good things here. Something to note here. Remember how I said ooh is a good vowel for that low part of her voice? When she's going up higher and she's using this sort of a sound, E is a really good sound. You can notice that she sings the E. Can't believe that I did it. But that sound of that E is still carrying through even on vowels that aren't E, just like in the lower range of her voice, that ooh sound is carrying through even when she's not singing ooh. I can't believe, I can't believe, I finally found someone. Right? I'll sing my teeth in disbelief. That brightness from that E is, is staying on top of her voice and keeping it in a nice little pocket so that it doesn't get out of, out of control. You're the one that I want. I can't believe there's something left inside my chest I'm giving you guys too many secrets. Oh man. And this is a completely different sound than anything we've heard her do previously. But she kills it. And the way that she's transitioning between all these different sounds and ways of using her voice is way more than I expected from just like some pop singer. Sorry, that's rude. <laughs> I'm giving you guys way too many secrets. We're going to stop. If you want to hear more secrets, you got to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification, okay? I ain't doing this for you guys. You know what? I'm done. Just kidding. I'm not. <sighs> I got to stop myself though. I got more videos to record today. This video is going to be 10 hours long if I keep going. I could listen to that a million times. It's so pitch perfect. And every vowel that she's choosing is so good. Nope. Okay, I have to talk about it. Yeah. What vowel is that? 
I've talked about this a million times on my channel. I've given you guys way too much information. It's an it. Again. That, if you want to sing with that big, fat, thick, open sounding, dark vowel, it has to be an air. Has to be an air. Or an O. O can also work. Love again. Love again. And then as it goes up in pitch, the vowel changes to something brighter. Remember I said that? I've already said this. The vowel changes to something brighter. Got me again, 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 Right? Her vowel changes there. It has to change. It doesn't matter if you're using that more strained sounding sound or if you're doing more of an open sound. No matter what, as it goes up, you're going to hear this in any singer, the vowel changes to something brighter. All right, you know, I've given you guys, I've told you guys way too much. Why do people say she's a bad singer or dancer? Do people say she's a bad singer too? I bet Reddit does. Whatever, who cares? You know what? I'm done. Guys, I got, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to react to some other stuff today. I've spent way too much time on you, Dua. We done. But you guys, if you like this video, maybe I'll check out some more from her. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll hit the bell notification icon. Check me out. Instagram, TikTok. This is really good. I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed. I would love to hear her really killing higher notes, though. Anyway, whatever. Until next time, Tristan and Tristan. Peace out.